Hey, what's up guys? Lukabuki here with another CFT video for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be discussing the sniper secondary, the Razorback. The Razorback was added way back in the Sniper vs. Spy update of 2009 and originally had a 15% movement speed penalty. This penalty wasn't removed after long, and the Razorback became a favorite secondary for many snipers. The Razorback blocks one backstab, stunning a spy from doing anything but move upon backstab attempt for 2 seconds. Spy and enemy snipers are basically snipers' main counters, so the Razorback goes pretty far for protection depending on the scenario at hand. The Sniper vs. Spy update also added the Spy's Ambassador as kind of a direct counter to the Razorback. The Ambassador allows a Spy to kill a Razorback Sniper with two headshots or one headshot with one or more preceding body shots depending on range and overheal of the Sniper. When compared to an instantaneous kill with one click, the Ambassador isn't quite as good as the knife for taking out an unaware Sniper at point blank, although it still can get the job done very well. If you think about it, the Razorback can really help a sniper who sticks close by to his team, because a spy will often go for the other easier targets that may be more important, like medics, demos, or maybe heavies rather than the sniper. If you do not have the Razorback on while you're close by to your team, if a spy goes unnoticed and gets behind everyone, you could potentially become part of a chain stab. If you are wearing the Razorback, however, the spy may stroll past you to take out the others instead. Now, chain stabs to this caliber are much more difficult to pull off in competitive play due to team communication and more spy awareness, but regardless, a sniper without the Razorback can be killed by spies much more easily. Time is of the essence when you are playing Highlander Spy, as you will be called out by a player you backstab, wearing the whole enemy team of your presence close to the instance they die. The extra couple seconds the Ambassador takes to kill a sniper who's right with his team will give the enemy team more time to react and face the threat, and can therefore eliminate the potential for pulling off any stabs receiving the sniper pick. This is, of course, assuming the spy is right at the heart of the combo and not a ways away shooting at the sniper from afar, and this is very important to note. Razorback or not, an Ambassador spy can still pick off a sniper from a distance in some situations. Also, if a sniper is far away from his team, alone in a sniper spot he loves, the Razorback doesn't really do much, as a spy can easily take the sniper out with his revolver, or better yet, the Ambassador, pretty easily at point blank with no one there to stop him, and often, especially in casual, the spy has a really good chance of getting away scot-free. A competitive spy may have a more difficult escape following this kind of pick due to the enemy team's flank showing up, but regardless, the sniper can still be eliminated very easily in this fashion. Another little thing to note is a Razorback sniper in a Highlander game can often ignore a spy callout, expecting his team to take care of the spy while the sniper stays scoped in looking for picks. But without the Razorback, the sniper is going to have to unscope and make sure he doesn't get stabbed. Now, it's time to address the reason for making this video. The Razorback has recently received a ban by UGC as an attempt to weaken Sniper as a class. Many vocal high-level Highlander players do not like how Sniper is such a powerful class in Highlander play as a team Sniper often manages to put out insane damage and make important picks from across each map with ease. Because Sniper is a long-range class, the only class that can take him out easily from the far is other Snipers, or possibly a spy using the Ambassador, or maybe from time to time a medic with a Crusader's crossbow point is, Snipers aren't very vulnerable to most classes at long range where they excel. Because Highlander Snipers lack enough vulnerability when you account for how much devastation they can cause from the far, the Highlander community has decided that the Razorback should not be allowed as it narrows the Sniper's vulnerability even more so. I wasn't too sure how much I agreed with this point of view, but after reading countless discussions carried out by TFD's top players in the UGC forum, I'd say that for the most part, many Highlander players agree that the Razorback ban is not a bad thing at all. But as I stated before, I don't really think the Razorback is overpowered in casual play, because a sniper may have to face 2-3 to three spies on the enemy team, as opposed to only having to deal with one spy in Highlander. And also, due to the lack of team communication and casual play, a spy can usually manage to take out a Razorback Sniper with the Ambassador, hell, maybe even the Latrange, pretty easily. As a result of this ban, we've seen more Jurati Snipers to the displeasure of some pro players, and stay tuned because I most likely will do a video on the Jurati and the Cozy Camper 2 in the future. If you think the Razorback should be changed, let me know down below. The most interesting suggestion I've seen so far has been to make Razorback Snipers unable to be overhealed. Maybe that's a bit too much, but it would be interesting to see how that would work in Highlander for sure, although I wouldn't say any penalty like that is really needed for casual, because as I've said probably like 100 times by now, I do not think that the Razorback is overpowered in casual play. Let me know what you guys think about the Razorback in the comments down below, and if you enjoyed, help me out and give me a like, and if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing for more content like this.
Also, feel free to check out my other videos if you liked this one, as this video is part of my Is It Balanced series. I'm going to try to finish 3 or 4 videos in the time I have off from class currently, so expect new content very soon. I also must say, thank you guys so much for 3,000 subscribers. I've been growing so much these last couple months, and I owe you guys a huge thank you. Have an awesome rest of your day or night, and peace out.